This video is going to be a guide to walk you through how to draw ISO shape number four. So since this is the first shape we are starting with, we first need to create a project in Inventor. So you open Inventor and you open Projects and we need a um, new project. So I'm going to go down here and click New it's for single user group. I hit next and this project that we'll be working on is our seven ISO shapes and where I wish to push this project you should have on your under your name in the SkyDrive, not SkyDrive Pro, SkyDrive you should have a folder titled IED and in the folder titled IED you want to make a um, new folder new folder that is going to be titled your seven ISO shapes so that's the name of the project and the location of the project I double check it's underneath your username SkyDrive your IED and oops that does not say what I want it to say so I'm going to change double check here on browse and make sure I did what I thought I did seven ISO shapes. Okay, that now looks the way I want it to look, so I hit finish and I hit apply. And then I wait. And so now I have it and the folder name is exactly where I want it to be and I hit done. Okay, so for the first shape we're going to draw is shape number four. Before drawing anything in Inventor, you always need to take a look at your shape and come up with a basic plan of action. So if you take a look at the shape, you can see it's essentially a cube that just has two parts cut out of it. So most likely the easiest way to draw this would be to do the cube and then to cut this shape out and this shape out. The cube dimensions are 1.75 by 2.25 by 1.5. This top part right here, that's going to be on my XZ plane. This would be my YZ plane and this would be my XY plane. This is the front right side and top. So there's my basic plan of action. So I go back over to Inventor. I'm going to do a new part file. And I'm going to create a 2D sketch and I'm going to start on the base plane right there and that's going to be this plane right here so it's a 1.75 by 2.25 so my depth is 1.75 my width is 2.25 so I do a rectangle my width is 2.25 and my depth is 1.75 finish and I want to be able to sort of see the whole shape so I just hit home there. I'm now going to take this and extrude it and the uh, distance it's extruded is it has a height of 1.5 so this is going to have a height of 1.5 okay so there's my basic rectangle next I'm going to cut the shapes out the first part I'm going to cut out is this part right here it is over 0.5 from the edge it has a cutout of 0.75 and a depth of 0.75 so I go back here I'm going to hit create a 2D sketch on this surface and I'm going to do a rectangle I'm just going to put it along the baseline right here and I'll dimension it in a second so I know the cutout is a 0.75 by 0.75 and then this dimension from here to here is supposed to be 0.5 Finish sketch. 
and I'm going to extrude. I'm going to take that and I want to do a cut. So I go over here where it says cut and I want to go through all. And that will cut that piece out. All right, the next part I'm going to cut out is this section right here. It's right there at the corner. It is a um, It is a um, depth of one inch, and this right here is one inch, and this little bit right here is uh, 0.5 from this edge. So I'm going to go back over here, create 2D sketch on this surface. I'm going to do a rectangle, and I'm really not sure about this distance, so I'm just going to draw the rectangle like that, and then I'm going to do my dimensions. So from here to here should be 0.5. And then this right here should be 1 inch. So there's the shape. Finish sketch. Extrude. And on this one it's 1 inch deep. So I'm going to do a cut 1 inch deep on that section right there. And there is my finished shape. So I then hit save so I don't lose my work. And I make sure I'm saving it in the ISO. First time I do this, I make sure it's on my SkyDrive where it's supposed to be.